What's up, everybody? It's Joel here. It's July 3rd. It's been a pretty busy day so far. We've got a bunch of family coming into town. We're smoking two briskets right now currently. But what we're going to do is we're going to head to the hangar where you got the airplane loaded up. Uh, trailer's all connected, ready to go. I got my two brothers that are come, coming with me. We're going to go uh, move into the hangar, see what we can do to start assembling the airplane. So let's go for a ride. meth lab once again this is the entry because there are no latches on the outside so you gotta climb inside unlatch her then you need the airplane all right go around keith go ahead Yeah. All right, so it's a little bit windy. Hopefully the uh, audio can be heard. So we did time lapse. Hopefully that comes out fairly clear enough for you guys to see the struggle we had trying to get everything out of the uh, trailer there. That was a real nightmare. Um, so now, seeing as we've never done this before, we're uh, opening up the manual, um, figuring out how to start. Uh, I'm assuming we'd start with the king post going up on the top so that we can support the wings and the tail section and all that stuff once it gets on. Um, one of my concerns that I've had um, since even buying it is there was ratchet straps between the ribs holding it up to the wall, um, which I did mention in my in my first video. Um, hopefully that's not going to cause an issue. Hopefully that'll iron out or we can we can tighten it up and get the uh, slack out of there. Um, this is it fully fully out of the trailer. So pretty excited. Not sure how long we'll be able to work on it today. But uh, let's see what we can get, get out of it. I'll uh, set this thing back up as a time lapse and you guys can watch our struggles and uh, fast forward. All right, take 15, battery died. I was midway through explaining what we just did. Now I'm gonna explain it again. Um, so as you guys can tell, if you've been watching the uh, time-lapse, we struggled quite a bit trying to get the wings on. Um, what we learned by reading the manual, finding it online, that was kind of a struggle as well. Shouldn't have been, but um, life's tough when you're stupid. So here I am. Um, okay, so the wings, they attach here and on the back there and once they're on, you can let it sag a little bit um, while you're figuring it all out. There's the cables here up on the top. Um, they attach to the top of the king post. So you need two helpy helpers, like those guys there, um, to be able to lift up. Um, we've got these PVC pipes that fortunately came with the airplane because somebody has already gone through this uh, experience. Um, so they took those and they lifted up as high as they could on the outsides of the wings so that I could be back here standing on my hover. Harbor freight bucket um, and 
I attached the uh, the cables. There's some uh, metal plates up there with some holes in it. And, okay, sorry. Um, metal plates with holes in it. The king post, um, you put the, the pole through the plates and then you put your nut and uh, you put your bolt and your nuts on and all that stuff. I'm gonna have to tighten that once I get a ladder. Um, so they held it up. I fished the, uh, the king post in place. What we did wrong was the guys that built this before were nice enough to take a Sharpie and put some marks where these, uh, where these pins go. Um, so I ended up putting those pins in first and that was the wrong way to do it. We found out after reading the instructions thoroughly um, and trial and error that we could not get the lower cables to attach to the frame right there through those shackles. Um, so we ended up having to pull the pins out, loosen this up as much as possible, and it was still a fight. So we ended up having to take the ratchet strap and uh, we had one person put a little bit of downward tension on the outside of the wing. Um, my other brother here, we, uh, we hooked up the ratchet strap hook right here. And as he pulled it, I made sure that the shackle wasn't going to go flipping on us. And then um, we were able to fish the bolt through. Once we did that, then the tension on all these guy wires is pulled tight from my understanding. Uh, correct me in the comments. If you know better than I do, you might. Um, the tension is all due to which bolt hole or pin hole these guys are in. So we ended up getting everything all secured. And then we put these in where the uh, previous owner put the marks. So now it's pretty tight. Um, they say that it shouldn't be tighter than a guitar string. Um, but I think we've got it. It's on. I'm excited because uh, it actually looks like an airplane now, kind of, sort of. Um, next, we're going to try to slap the uh, tail section on uh, before it gets too late. It's 9 o'clock right now, um, and tomorrow's the 4th of July. So we've got a bunch of anxious women watching our kids, and uh, they want us home. So we're going to slap that tail section on as best we can. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It's not too much of a struggle. So one more quick video and then we're wrapping it up. We're going to pack up. It's 930. Um, we were able to, for the most part, get the tail section on. Um, what we did was we took and we connected her down here and the other side over there. Um, we also connected there and here. Then um, we put the uh, elevator on. So we put four bolts in there, there, there. And if I'm holding the camera right, sorry, there. So these four bolts. And then um, let's see where we're at right now. And we're wrapping it up on is we're figuring out this guy here, the elevator control, um, whether it, how it loops through these bars and whether or not we had it right. We started looking at the instructions, but we're just going to wrap it up for today. So it's going to eventually end up connecting to there. Um, to the, the stick, the control stick. And then um, I will have to assemble the prop and make sure that everything's tight and connect all of the control cables. And just, I'm gonna do it once over. I'm literally gonna go through and touch every nut and bolt on this thing and make sure that they're tight. Um, there was just some random washers missing. Uh, go through all that and try to button it up and make sure she's fit for flight before I just trust somebody else's work. Um, trust but verify. So looks good. We're super excited. I'm super excited. They're tired, but I'm super excited and have it ready. So I'll do uh, another follow up video another day. Um, I've got some uh, flight training, like I mentioned, that I head out for actually on next Friday and it starts on Saturday. So next time I get back to this, I'm going to have some flight time. Super excited. So cool. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for following me on this adventure. See you next time.